Hello and welcome to the October 6th episode of This Week in Kirkland, the official podcast of the City of Kirkland, bringing you timely topics and noteworthy news delivered to you every week. I'm your host, Jim Lopez, one of the deputy city managers here at the city, joined today by two members of the podcast team. Hello, I'm Sue Romero. Hi, I'm Chris Peterson. And here are the stories we're covering this week. We will have a recap of the most recent city council meeting. Also, there was an announcement by Congresswoman Del Benny for an addiction treatment program at the Kirkland City Jail. Yeah, very good. And a big thank you to blood donors for helping save lives. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's help raise cancer awareness um, with Pink Patches, the Kirkland PD is uh, doing Pretty that. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very cool. Um, you should see the animated GIF in the... Uh, Oh, really? <laughs> it's like news yeah, It's pretty right. awesome. Yeah, it's also walk to school week, and um, we're going to learn how to help prevent fall flooding. Mm-hmm. So we're also giving a heads up for Juanita Beach Park goers this week. Well, we're going to talk about our upcoming events. We usually have some great ones. But first, our big story of the week, the recent flooding on Northeast 132nd underneath the 405 earlier this week is a big story. Our community members have been asking about it, so we wanted to share some information. Northeast 132nd Street under 405 was closed on Sunday and Wednesday of this week due to standing water. Now, various factors led to the flooding. So, as you may or may not know, they are building a new 405 132nd interchange right there. Yes. So, the new storm system that handles the water through that interchange hasn't been built yet. So, that didn't help at all. And then also a branch of Juanita Creek that flows under 405 right there in that section is currently being rerouted. So they're trying to move the stream path, and that is building up water as well. Yeah, there's also some mechanical issues with the pumps on site. So the pumps just aren't pumping. Well, and that's a challenge. That's a problem. Yeah. You have one job. <laughs> there's just been a lot of rainfall recently. Mm-hmm. So this is a Washington State uh, Department of Transportation project, and we're going to put more information in the show notes yes, for anybody for sure. that wants to, want follow to know up. about that project. So let's do a quick recap of the last city council meeting. The council met on October 3rd. They mm-hmm. held a study session before the regular meeting, which included a special presentation on the five-year plan of the King County Regional Homeless Authority. And all of this is related. Uh, the second presentation was, was updates on the King County Health Through Housing Project mm-hmm. in Kirkland. And lastly, we presented on a new city initiative, the Coordinated Response to Homelessness. Mm-hmm. And then on the business agenda, the regular part of the meeting, they had a special presentation of the first Smart City Master Plan that's intended to help the city use technology more efficiently. There's a lot of cool things in that plan. I bet. Not the least of which is artificial intelligence. Oh. Yeah. (laughs) Favorite of mine. Yeah, I know. (laughs) So the council also provided direction uh, for community engagement to update the Juanita and Kingsgate neighborhood plans in 23 and 24. Uh Uh-huh. And we had some proclamations Proclamations. as well. The mayor proclaimed October in Kirkland as Disability Awareness Month, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, Walk and Roll to School Month, and October 9th as Indigenous Peoples Day. Walk and roll. Walk and roll, dude. The next city council meeting is on October 17th. You can watch on the city's YouTube channel, website, or Facebook page. Mm Mm-hmm. So Congresswoman Susan Dalbeni announced $1.3 million for a new addiction treatment program at the city of Kirkland Jail. Mm -hmm. The money will be used to create a holistic program that includes screenings, on-site treatment, support services, wow, Mm -hmm. and re-entry planning for incarcerated people with substance abuse issues. That sounds really, really great. Yeah, and just a statistic, it is needed because in 2018, more than 47,000 Washingtonians were regular opioid users, and over half of them were expected to be released from a jail in our state. Much needed assistance. Yeah. And thank you, blood donors, for helping save lives. Thanks to the generous donors, Bloodworks Northwest collected 63 units of blood during our September blood drive at City Hall. Mm-hmm. And the, the great thing about that is all the units go directly to local hospitals uh, to maintain Boom. a stable blood supply. Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking so if you miss the blood drive in September, you can sign up for the November 29th and 30th blood drive we're having here at City Hall, and we'll have those details in the show notes. So we alluded to this in the opening, the cool patches. The mm-hmm. Kirkland Police Department is helping to raise cancer awareness with pink patches. I saw them the other day. They're very cool. Mm-hmm. Kirkland Police, they're participating in the Pink Patch Project. And you know what? You, you can, can too. too. 
(laughs) So now through November 6th, you may see uniformed Kirkland officers, that's both um, police officers and corrections officers, wearing a pink patch on their uniforms. Yeah, and you can uh, you can support them by purchasing a ten dollar patch online. Uh, they're pretty neat. Nice. And then you can also make a donation to Footprints uh, a Fight, a King County charity that supports families in Washington going through pediatric cancer treatment. You can also find some more info about uh, about pink patches in the show notes. Yep. Yes, a lot in there. Hey, it's Walk to School Week, and during Walk to School Week, which is. October 2nd to the 6th. 2nd to the 6th. Yep. We're wrapping it up. Students and families are encouraged to walk to and from school each day. Mm -hmm. And October 4th, which was Wednesday, was walk and roll to school day. (laughs) So um, police officers from Kirkland Police Department and also Kirkland Fire visited students at Juanita Elementary and also Rose Hill Elementary and a bunch of other schools. And the kids got to shake hands with the firefighters and the police officers and crawl in the trucks and it was cool so walk and roll Mm -hmm. to school yes is embedded in walk to school week yes i think yeah because yeah that makes sense doesn't it (laughs) so here's how you can help prevent fall flooding we've already seen a lot of rain this fall Mm -hmm. yeah here's some tips from our public works department to prevent drain issues at home and uh, this is one that I need to do is inspect your <laughs> gutters and downspouts for Don't damage. Don't we all? Time to get out the ladder. Mike's shaking yeah. his head. <laughs> uh, you can add screens to your gutters to help keep debris out of your drains. You can install a rain barrel oh. to collect water. That That's really cool. That's I think pretty I'd, cool. I'd mm-hmm. like to do that too. And then, you know, just sweep your driveway instead of uh, using a hose, you know. Help yeah. save some water too. Yep. So here's a heads up for Juanita Beach Park goers. Starting next week, October 9th, the western part of the parking lot at Juanita Beach Park will be closed for repaving. Right. The project expected to take about two weeks, depending on the weather, so you won't be able to park on the west side of the lot. This is all part of the annual street preservation program. Nice. So, Chris, we have some upcoming events. Yeah, let's uh, let's walk and roll here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's the Lake Washington Half Marathon coming up on Saturday, October 21st from 8 a.m. to noon. And the loop course starts and finishes at Juanita Beach Park. Nice. And you can always uh, find the registration info in the show notes. Yep. Also, Kirkland Forest Day coming up Sunday, October 22nd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 132nd Square Park, honoring the roles of trees in our lives nice. and our environment. They did the mash. They did the monster bash. The Pee Wee Monster <laughs> Bash. The Pee Wee Monster Bash. The Pee Wee Monster Bash Carnival is coming soon. Yes. It's on Friday, October 27th from 10 a.m. to noon. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know they asked for volunteers, city staff, to come vo- dress no. up and volunteer? Would you be doing it? Of that? course I'm doing it. <laughs> and I was like, so, okay. It's, it's a major attraction it's, now. It's going to be a bunch of littles, right? Yeah. So I can't wear anything like super scary. Yeah. Because I was going to, th- I was immediately, I was like, okay, I'm going to be Maleficent. Oh, jeez. Oh, that, that would have been great. That's too well, scary. too much, though. With the horns and the black wings. So okay. do we announce what you're what you're wearing? I, I haven't or? decided yet. Oh, you haven't decided Of yet. course, I've laid out all three, all three yeah. of my choices already. <laughs> so are you doing it too, Chris? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not going to volunteer. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Are you, you know? Sure? I'm scary. I'm scary enough without a costume. Uh, <laughs> so what we've done is either intentionally or not is we've created a real incentive because people are going to want to see what your coming is. Mm-hmm. Okay. You meet the. Uh, what, Should I tell yeah. you the choices? What the yes, choices please. are? Okay, yes. so I've got uh, Ray from the Star, the newer Star Wars movie. Yeah, that's right? nice. Oh, I made, that's a good one. Yeah, that's I made one. Tia Ray costume with nice. the staff, and I went to oh, Home good. Depot and made Do you have a, you Yep. Have, yeah. And also Props. Ghostbusters. My, my of course, nice. I made my own proton pack, which oh, you yeah, have yeah. to see. Is it, was it Blankman? What's it? What, what, Bill Murray's character? Okay. Uh, Vinkman. We'll Vinkman. Yeah. Vinkman. 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 Yeah. Vinkman. Yeah. Vinkman. Yeah. Yeah. Vinkman. Or what was the last one? Oh, just Princess Leia. Princess Leia. Yeah, A lot the, of Star Wars. The white dress. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the science. Those are the choices. Yeah, the science fiction influence has to. So I will come as one of those on Friday, October 27th from 10 a.m. to noon, the Pee Wee Monster Bash Carnival at North Kirkland Community Center. For preschoolers age five and under, registration is encouraged because it always sells out. Oh, it sells out. So we'll have the info in show notes. It will be amazing. Do it. 
Okay, so that brings us to our last story this week. Our annual Harvest Festival is this weekend, Saturday, October 7th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., Chris. Yeah, and that's at Juanita Beach Park. Uh, it features food trucks, live music, wow. artisan foods and crafts, a pie-eating contest, oh, boy. a cornhole tournament, and uh, the Kids Corral will have pretend cow milking, bull roping, ring toss, and pony rides. Bull roping, ladies and <laughs> bull gentlemen. Bull roping. <laughs> pretend cow milking. So fortunately, a shuttle will depart every 15 minutes yeah. know, from North Kirk- Kirkland Community Center to the event. Mm-hmm. Which would be super helpful. Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll put all that information in the show notes. Yep. So a pie eating contest is always fun. But did you know, A, one in five American pie eaters claim to have eaten a pie by themselves? Seems plausible. Seems in my <laughs> space, very plausible. <laughs> yeah. That's like a regular B, day. The first recorded pie eating contest took place in Toronto in 1878. Hmm. Or C, in 1909, several reporters in a private Manhattan club watched a man devour 275 oysters, eight pounds of steak, (laughs) 12 rolls, 11 cups of coffee, and three pies. And he won $50. Now, there's a lot of detail in (laughs) number C. Only 50 bucks? (laughs) I know. Oh, my gosh. Well, the one in five seems a little light. I mean, I could eat them. Yeah. I don't know. So the answer? What is the answer? All of them. Are they? That's intense. One in five American pie eaters. Toronto. How about that? Who knew? See? Learn something new every day. Yeah. So that's, you know, 11 cups of coffee, folks. <laughs> I need that this morning. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to sign your kid up for the Pee Wee Monster Bash on October 27th. It yes. always sells, sells out. out. Yes. And that does it for this week. You've been listening to This Week in Kirkland. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and share. share. Special thanks to Mike Connor and Kate Ryan for their behind-the-scenes magic. Thank you. Thank you. Our next episode is October 13th. Be sure to tune in. Until then, stay stay connected, connected, Kirkland. Kirkland.